I think people living with progressive MS today need to know that there are there are so many researchers that are focusing in on the issues that they're having. People are paying attention and they're very bright, motivated people that are paying attention and dedicating their careers to finding cures, finding treatments that work and improving their quality of life. So the situation is very hopeful. I also think that people with progressive MS need to know that just because they've progressed, that doesn't mean there's not hope to improve their quality of life and improve their physical and cognitive functioning. Because we are seeing that things can, and can improve, we just need to identify the best way to do that. When I started in MS, this research was really in its infancy, the cogni looking at cognition in MS and trying to find ways to treat cognition in MS. So we were looking at large patient groups across the different disease subtypes. As time went on, we realized that it's the more progressive forms of MS that have greater cognitive challenges. They all have cognitive challenges, even relapsing remitting, and they all benefit from cognitive intervention, but the challenges are greater in persons who have secondary, primary progressive and secondary progressive MS. So as the research continued, it transitioned to focus a little bit more on those patients that needed more. And there, the interventions that they need um, are likely going to be slightly different from what we see in the, those who have relapsing remitting MS. The Alliance has had a tremendous impact on the field of progressive MS. It has provided funding um, and encouragement for people to really delve into the problem of progressive MS, to form collaborations across the world, which is tremendously beneficial to the field, and to really focus in on the problems that persons with progressive MS in particular are having. And that really fuels the research. The growth in research from four or five years ago to today, focusing on progressive MS is absolutely tremendous. And I expect that we'll be seeing results from that very soon. The work that I'm doing focuses specifically on how people are functioning in their daily life today. So once a trial is completed, we publish that work. People read that, the clinicians the, the, and the directors of different centers will read that work and they come to us and they ask us for the program. Um, so it's a very fast turnaround in terms of how quickly people are impacted by the work because once the data is presented and once the paper is out there, clinicians request the program. We provide it and they can start treating patients. So it's actually a very quick turnaround and that's very rewarding because we see patients start to benefit very, very quickly. Thank you.